good morning, friends. We've made it to another week. But unfortunately, we're still out of school. And also, you know, sadly, it is raining outside. If you can see it in the background there, it's yucky. So, what better time to read a book? One of, I think, everybody's favorite. I don't think anybody's told me no yet for this book, so... So, without further ado, A Frog in the Bog. Ugh. Sorry guys, adjusting my lighting to make sure that there are no funny glares so y'all can properly see the pictures. Pictures are everything, right? All right. There's a frog in the log in the middle of the bog. A small green frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. He flicks one tick as it creeps up a stick. One tick in the belly of a small green frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. He sees two fleas as they leap through the reeds. One tick, two fleas in the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. He spies three flies as they buzz through the skies. One tick, two fleas, three flies, oh my! In the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. He goog goog googs four slugs as they slink through the sludge. One tick, two fleas, three flies, oh my, four slugs, ew, ah, in the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. He inhales five snails from their heads to their, oh, Miss Amy doesn't have a tail. One tick, two fleas, three flies, oh my, four slugs, ew, ugh, and five slimy snails in the belly of the frog on a half slump log in the middle of the bog. What a hug, that frog! And the frog grows a little bit bigger. <gasps> then... That log with the frog in the middle of the bog starts to rise, and the frog sees two eyes. Logs don't have eyes, you guys. Uh -oh. And the frog sees claws, and a big set of jaws, and a mouth like a crater, and the frog screams, oh my God! With his mouth open wide, all the bugs inside start to crawl and fly and to slither and slide. Out come five snails from their heads to their tails. Four slugs, ew, ah, uh, buzz, buzz, three flies, oh my. Two fleas, dear me, and one tiny tick, ick. And right in the middle of his holler, that frog grows a whole, whole lot smaller. Smaller. See you later, says the gator as he romps through the swamp, because the itty bitty frog isn't big enough to jump. Now, the bugs in the bog keep away from the frog, and the frog never, ever sits on a half sunk log. Dee. And guys.
guys, this is one of our favorite, favorite books. They're very interactive with it, and it's a great way to integrate talking about your animals. I encourage you, your friends, if you've got Play-Doh at home, make some slugs today. Some snails. Practice our fine motor skills. We roll the Play-Doh. We smash the Play-Doh. We curl the Play-Doh onto its shell itself. We can pull it into pieces. We can put it back together. It's great fine motor scale development. Just, you know, kind of make it into a routine. What are the different ways you can use the Play-Doh? Can you roll it into a ball? Can you shimmy it into a, a long line? Can you smash it flat like a pancake? It's great. I, I like this book because, you know, lily pads are flat and slugs are long and slimy. And so it's just something to, to kind of integrate to give them a picture of what they're building when you use Play-Doh because that's a great way to integrate, like I said, you know, a building block into, okay, if I can see this in a 3D way, if I see how it forms and I can form it myself, then maybe then I can color it and draw it. And so then, once they figure out Play-Doh, then they figure out how to use it in a crayon. Okay, we're gonna draw the outline of something. Oh, if I draw a just one little line, is that a worm? So, you know, it's a building block, it's a process. And these kids are right there on the cusp of it. I know we've practiced drawing circles, which I know you're like, circles, come on. But it's a very, it's a, the natural shape. It's, there's no points to it. So I really enjoy it. But either way, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day! Despite the rain. So, bye!